Resurrect Eject Operation Channel Intro YouTubers, like WWC Stop Motioner here, and here I'm going to re review Transformers War for Cybertron Siege Deluxe Class Hounds. That, just like Shatter, was a real peg warmer who definitely did not deserve that fate because this is a really good figure. I can only think it was due to them overstocking him, or a lot of people just didn't really have attachments to him as a character, which that I could see because. Aside from the movies, and I just consider that to be bulkhead. And the first three episodes of G1, if you haven't seen those, odds are you don't know who this guy is. But I liked him in the very brief spotlight he had in G1. He was one that was kind of supposed to be the kid appeal character at first, and then he was replaced by Bumblebee. So... It's a shame, but hey, we still got a cool figure of him. So here we have him in his Cybertronian Jeep mode. This is how I configured the gun. I just feel it's the closest I can make it to how it looked in the original series. No, yes, you can see his arms underneath. That's about the biggest drawback. Otherwise, there's something that kind of looks like a seat in here. Got the Autobot symbol. You got the star. Got the front here with battle damage, which really fits in. Back is hollow, but that's all right. So, comparison, just here he is with a basic deluxe. This is the Netflix side swipe, and they look cool. Now he does unfortunately have pegged on wheels. They do actually work fairly well at least, so that's good. There's this head underneath. So I think that pretty much covers this Jeep mode. So let's go ahead and move on to transformation. And I really like this transformation. So first off, just gonna remove this, then detach these. And you got this gun that actually has a magazine to hold all of the bullets or whatever they use on Cybertron. I guess lasers, I don't really know. It's a really nice touch though. All right, now for the figure, to begin just fold the feet up and pull the arms down a little bit, attach them from these tabs. Pull this up, detach right here, pull that back, detach right here, pull it back, then you can disconnect the legs, just kind of mess with it so you can get it clear, and you fold this up, you put the feet into place, then you just fold these out to the side, pull this down, and these will kind of lock the chest in place. And when you're transforming him into vehicle mode, you gotta make sure these are detached first. Because otherwise this chest won't budge and you could break something. Then rotate these right here. Fold this up, fold this part down. Nice thing is the window here is a separate piece. This whole part isn't clear plastic, so that's great. Then something I missed in my original review of this figure that they left out of the instructions, so not my fault. You can fold this back. And you can armor him up. 
that there. And there is Siege Hound in his robot mode. And robot mode is excellent. I mean, maybe the green is a little bit too dark. That's me nitpicking. Otherwise, I really like it. Cleans up fairly well. The wheels, I like how both wheels store on the legs. That's just always really cool when they can do that. Head sculpt, I look at that and I definitely think of G1 Hound. It's got some battle damage down here. It's more, it, it's more properly placed on this one. It's not overdone, it's, it's a subtle enough detail. I think, anyway. So, comparison again, here he is with the Netflix side swipe. And they're around the same height. Yeah, this, it works as his hollow projector. Now, one of the problems is that his chest is a little big, so it's a little tough to pull it off like he's holding his gun like this, so... I kind of just want to do this. It still works though. So for his articulation, head is on a ball joint. Not really a whole lot in the way of up and down. Can do full 360. Shoulders go up. They can rotate a full 360. You get a rotation right here. And okay, elbow bend. Get a fist rotation. You get a waist swivel. Legs can kick forward that far and back that far. You can go out to the side. Because of transformation, you get a really good knee bend. Now, ankle tilt is not great because it kind of wants to snap into place. So that's a little unfortunate, but it's all right. You can do something. You can still get good poses with them. the stars on his shoulders. Just a really cool figure. Oh, did I cover this? He's got a rotation right here, if I didn't cover it. So I think that's about all I have to say. I mean, not a whole lot to talk about. He's a good figure. So I'll go on and stick him on the display. All right, so there's Siege Hound with my G1 Autobots display. He looks cool there. So, like I said, figure that peg warrant and definitely did not deserve to. If you skip this guy, I, I can kind of see if you don't really have any attachments to the character, but I mean, seriously, vehicle mode is good, transformation is good, and the robot mode is good. I really do think you should reconsider it and go back and get him because he's a fun figure. I did wait a little while before I got him, but when I did, I, I had no regrets. He's pretty awesome. So, that's my re-review for Transformers War for Cybertron Siege, Deluxe Class Hound. If you like this video, please be sure to like, comment, share, subscribe, and God bless. And, Happy Thanksgiving.